So my daughter, Catherine, got this. I don't, is that gonna be reversed? I think it is. It's a, it's a Japanese, and it's kind of a style of treat where they, uh, you make a candy by mixing some ingredients that are given to you. Usually it's just powders and you mix water and you do certain things. So it's, it's almost like a craft, but then also you can eat it when you're done. So it produces some sort of a candy-like thing. And notice that the instructions, there's a full picture of the instructions, although it might be reverse for you. They are in Japanese. Although there are pictures, and the pictures aren't too hard to understand, we're going to decipher the pictures, and we are going to make this, and you're going to see the whole thing. So, you want to cut along the lines. Okay, so just putting it in the same orientation, we've got this going on. There's the components, the clover component for the strawberry, the musical note component for the crepe batter, and the star component for everything else. And then this is the... So if I cut along these line, lines, am I safe? Um, yeah. So the, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a funny YouTube, there's a funny short video. Who knows, it could even be a vine, it's so I short. I think it's a vine. It might have originally been a vine. And it's a mother, and there's a kid running, and the mother asks the kid, What do you have? And the kid Show me what you have. Show me what you have. And the kid says, A knife. A knife. And the mother says, No! And the kid runs off with the knife. It's funny. Here's what the powder looks like. Okay. Ooh, wait. We should describe it. I want to smell it too. Okay. Wait, I guess it smells kind of like vanilla. It has a slight vanilla uh, aroma, and I don't know if you can see it, but it you can see crystals in it, and actually you can see, so it's like a little bit sparkly, and you can see little black or brown dots in it, almost like, let's see, there. Almost like, um, like vanilla. vanilla. Yeah. So, okay, we're gonna pour it in there now. The whole thing. Just make sure we scrape. There's some on the edges, so scrape it. Alright. Can put it on the record player? And here's the part I don't understand, is what is that? Oh, is that like signifying how you place this? Yeah, you place it so that one is in the center, and one is on. Oh, one of like these things. Like that. See, that's huh. just a side. So now, two. I'm, I'm guessing it it means two or three. About two or three scoops go in here. Mm. So let's try that. Let's try two or three scoops to get a, a circle just the size of the inner, there's an inner circle there. I don't know if you can see it because of the light, the angle of the light probably. So there's an inner circle there. So we want to make about two or three. There's one. Two looks like it's gonna be plenty. There's plenty. This is gonna flatten it out. That's true. So now we do this, right? Mm -hmm. And then spin it until it's bigger. Do I try spinning it? I'll sure. hold it. I think it's in. Right, okay. Alright, well, we can always put more. Lift it up. All right, I'm gonna put it in for 10 seconds. And so this is what it looks like now that it's been spread out. 
Okay, now I'm gonna put it in for 10 seconds in the microwave and see what happens. All right, here's what happened after 20 seconds. It looks pretty cooked. 10 seconds might have been enough. Uh, maybe 15 seconds. Mm. It smells crepey. What are we supposed to do with it? Oh, it says use your fingers. So it doesn't say to let it cool or anything. So I'm using my fingers to peel it up. Or it might say to let it cool. We can't read Japanese. It doesn't say in English, let it cool. And then it doesn't like, see how it doesn't get all the way to the edge? That's why this one's not, not really circular. If I push on the bottom, I think the problem is that there's a there's a bump on the bottom that's preventing this thing from being flat. So if I lift it up, it's actually working better. How's that look? See how it's really thin in some places? Yeah, but it, it looks cooked. I'm trying to make sure we have some grapes. Okay. Where is the bag? Good question. Because we need that for the chocolate. Alright, so let's mix up the next ingredient. What what symbol? Um, the star symbol. Everything else except for the strawberries goes in the straw uh, star symbol. So this is the and chocolate? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm figuring out that the ASMR videos with these things must be heavily edited. Alright. I mean it looks like chocolate powder, it looks like chocolate and sugar, basically. Does it smell like chocolate? Yeah. Mm. I don't know if you can see that. To get the camera and the light. You see? It's powdery and chocolatey. Basically, okay. So we pour it, pour it into the star. And how many scoops? You gotta be careful with the amount of water. That's what I'm learning is you gotta be careful with the amount of water that you add to these things. Hmm. Now I see why that was supposed to go, um, I, know, I guess you can put the like white cream on. Oh yeah, that's a good thickness now. Look at that. It's not gonna look like the pictures because we're putting the chocolate on first. All right, I'm gonna try to scrape the chocolate right into the corner of the bag. That way we don't waste any chocolate. Mm -hmm. So this is a delicate operation here. Try to waste as little chocolate as possible. Because we don't have a lot. Well the good thing about the bag is you can always squeeze the chocolate in the bag, you know? So it shouldn't stick too much to the bag, I guess. So, so there we've got a little bit of tiny little bit of chocolate. You can see that on the, uh, in the bag there. All right, so now. Shove all of that in there. This smells like sugar, basically, <laughs> I don't know. Here's what it looks like. Pour it all in there, and then there's Can four, you see that? four water scoops. Oh, I don't know how much light you've got in there. Okay, so this is gonna be four water scoops, which means we're gonna have a lot more of this than we had of the chocolate. That's marginally one. We don't want to go overboard though, so that's good that it's mm. a less two. Three. Four. Maybe it's just supposed to be a bit thicker. Wanna mix it? Just, just don't, yeah. Don't mix it towards the edge. Mix it towards the wall. That way it's flash against the wall. I'm gonna take another look at the goal here, which I, you know, it's a little bit of a, I think, dream at this point, but I mean, you can see the little strawberries. Water. There's some things that look like marshmallows on there. I That's the white stuff. Why does it look like marshmallows? No, the colored marshmallows, see? Oh, the yellow stuff? I think no. the banana slices. There's there's a blue heart there. There's a red. These oh, are sprinkles. That's the sprinkles. Oh, there. I didn't show you the sprinkles, see? You need to see the sprinkles, see? 
came with you, these you sprinkles. You can't make the sprinkles. No. The they make the sprinkles. And then we've got what we think is, strawberry. what we know is a strawberry flavored topping that's going to go on there. And what we think is banana. And then, do you think this is banana is and... Is that something that is, goes on crepes? Yeah. And it also, the shape is slices, which it could be lemon. I'm, my guess is that we're going to find out as soon as we open that. If anybody can read Japanese, I believe that. Oh, that says banana. It says banana on the back. Ba no, no, I think. Now we are getting the icing or frosting, depending on. Or whipped cream. I mean, icing and frosting are two different things. What's the difference? Oh, frosting is like, it goes on the whole cake. Icing frosting is like fat. It's just fat and sugar, but icing gets hard. Yeah. Icing is like that stuff that you see on, top of on, on cookies, like on big cookies, that is a very hard layer. And on top of frosting, on top of cake, sometimes. We should look up, if, if someone knows the difference between frosting and icing, comment. <laughs> I don't want to have to look it up. You you tell me. Comment, comment for everything. Especially if this comment. has been an annoying conversation to you. If you've said like, why don't they know the difference between icing? Or comment if you know if you the think real, it's the same thing. The real Japanese word for banana, and I was totally wrong that yeah. that doesn't say banana. <laughs> sure. It's comments. Yeah, like if 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 Mars. Pan... Right, see what we're doing here. See the plan. This is gonna get squeezed into the corner. Yeah, and then we're gonna use it like a decorating bag. Just one of those, okay. and then all of the banana pack. And then all of the banana pack, you heard her. But I think, and it goes. I think it goes in here, because this is the only thing shaped like the... Um, oh, and then we slice it? Yeah, with the spoon. We slice it with the spoon. Oh, it's okay. So, this smells like banana flavor. Like, there's no. What kind of banana? Like the kind that with Cavendish, or like real. Banana? First of all, you can hopefully maybe you can see. It just looks like a white powder. There's not anything really to see there. Okay. That white is not okay. Oh, yeah. It's banana flavor. It smells like like a like circus a peanuts. If you ever had circus peanuts, that's what that yeah, smells that, like. That, that's not, that smells like, like a banana that we have here. So I don't know what we're supposed to do with this. So this is a new, so that's the banana flavored. Can you see that? Yep. We yeah. have. Do you see this instruction here? The theory is that it's made in the mixer thing, which has batter on the bottom. So why don't you wash that off? <laughs> my YouTube plates. Okay. So we're basically supposed to be making a banana here. Right? This is like constructing a banana from essential parts. I'm guessing. Oh, oh no, wait a minute. Nope, nope, I'm wrong. No, nope, we're wrong. You're not supposed to put it in anything. See the instruction? It's like being rolled. It's a roll. And so, what's the white thing under it? Oh, that's just that's just their way of yeah. saying that's the what it's supposed yeah. to look like. So let's. Dang, that's freaky. <laughs> it actually even looks like banana. It looks like. All right. Like Do you see this? Banana. Yeah, it looks exactly like mashed banana at this point. That's. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. This looks like mashed up bananas. And Much less saturated than the picture in the um, on the instructions. It looks like so a real banana. I'm trying to shape this into. A... That's funny. All right, so there's our banana. Now we slice some slices off of it. That's okay. That isn't so much slice as it does crush. What do you do? You want to try it with something else? What do you think? A butter knife, plastic. or do you think it's cheating if we use other things? All right, we've so already used a plate now. We're not going to cheat then, so let's cut our. It's not okay. 
Well, there's nothing that says you can't use a plate. Um, you don't know that. Now here are our banana slices. I think you can use your fingers to make them look more like the nice, pristine... Yeah, that's okay. Are. I'm trying to touch them as little. I already rolled it out with my hands. I guess we keep them there while we wait to... Essentially. They, they smell so much like, I mean, they, they're so banana You smell them, yeah. right? They're so banana-y. All right, now for the strawberry, which goes in the clover cup. And then you want to um, use the spoon to pour it into the strawberry molds. After it mixes up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing this is going to look like a smashed banana <laughs> if it was red but it smells like strawberries. <laughs> well, it's gonna look like like strawberry, vaguely strawberry shaped drops. Are you sure it was two? Yes. It's really two. runny. It says two. They're supposed to be like jelly, look. Okay. okay. So this is a very runny strawberry gel. Do we do anything with them? Put them in molds. And I then just like the microwave them? No. Leave them. Squish them into the mold. Yeah, but take them out. look, they're not gonna come out. It's just. I don't make the rules. Oops. It's like strawberry jam. Yeah, it is like strawberry jam. Except they're not gonna make jellies <laughs> because they're not gonna solidify unless we like cook them or something. Maybe that's what this means. Ten something something next to a clover. This smells really good. Well, if you like strawberry, I don't think my daughter likes stra any fruit flavors, so to her it probably does not smell good. But to me, it smells fine. It smells very, very fruity, like a fruity candy. I just don't want any on my cream. It, it smells like strawberry ice cream, actually, to me. Yeah, this is what it smells like. like all right, they're starting to already form jellies. We've mixed up everything, so we probably should have done that first. Well, no, because I didn't want the spoon to have strawberry on it. But we, we would have washed it anyway. All right, so now if you look at this, these instructions, it actually also shows on, I think it, sh it shows on here. It shows what you're supposed to do now to decorate them. And to decorate them, you place them, you take them they're flat, and then you can see these. this V, you're supposed to only put your ingredients in the middle, and then you follow that V, squeeze some frosting in there, or icing, then squiggle whatever you want in there, and then fold it up, and then that's it, and you've got your thing. So let's do the crepes on a plate. Do you want to do the first one? Yeah. You can have this one. Just well, just don't put stuff and the chocolate. Be careful because the hole in that is big. Well, no, no. What you want to do is, all right. So what you want to do when you're decorating is you want to. All right. Give it a tourniquet up there. See how it starts to. Now you just do it by turning it because mm -hmm. there's not that much. And remember, you're thinking of a V. All right, do you want to try the chocolate now? Mm -hmm. right. Are you going to put any of the fruits in there? Do you want to try to put it in this? Good that I cut the bottom now you can see where the bottom is. Alright, what do you think? Hold it up and hold it up to the camera so you can see it once you're skirt is aligned correctly. Yeah. Let's see. This is one without fruit, so it's a little bit bare. But there you go. Hold hold it up to the very nice. Oh, look! Look at that. You're making one for me? The next one can be for you. Or do you want this one? It's so pretty. 
All right, well, you got three strawberries. Four bananas. Four bananas. Do you want more chocolate? Strawberries in air quotes. Yes, please. <laughs> the strawberry jellies. Okay. The bananas also in air quotes? No, they're they're pretty much real bananas. They look like, don't they look like mushed, mashed bananas? Do you want sprinkles? I don't sprinkles think, are the only real thing about this. I don't feel like I need sprinkles. I don't know, the crepes seem pretty real to me. We have the real crepe bag. This is our first. There you go. You get a heart. The whole thing is candy. Okay, so now we're gonna fold this thing up. Oh, it even stays. Look at that. And there's, there's a, there's a crepe. Pretty crazy. So you figured out the instructions. Catherine did mostly. Thank you. It's very sticky. So tell us how it tastes. Okay. We're not gonna do a an on camera uh, reaction, facial reaction, but we're gonna get a verbal description. How is it? It's very good, except for the sprinkles, which I didn't want. <laughs> well, the sprinkles are part of the experience. So. The banana tastes like fake banana, which I love. I actually kind of like fake banana too, I think. My favorite popsicle as a child was a banana popsicle. I came with root beer and one of the flavors. Well, I, so what else would you say to describe it? I'm gonna do two of these at once. I'll do the mini The banana one. is pretty overwhelming. That's all I could taste. And then the sprinkles were crunchy, which was unpleasant. <laughs> okay. Well, I should just try one. I'm going to try one without crepe. You know what they taste like? They taste like strawberry jello. That's exactly what they taste like. But so not super strong. And you can see they've gelled in just the time. In just the time that they were sitting there, they've already gelled. This is, this is a really cute little thing. Okay. Oh, I should put the banana thing. I'm gonna actually eat one of these banana things without, so there you get a close up of the banana slice, supposedly, which doesn't really look like a slice, but. Yeah, oh yeah. You sure you don't wanna try one of the banana slices? Sure. Why not? Can you cut one smaller? Just, just, just take this one, it's small. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's like the best part of it. Oh yeah, that tastes like a banana. It tastes like a banana, although it's a little bit sweeter, a little bit stronger. It tastes like a, um, actually it doesn't taste like any no, of the bananas. No, it tastes like a perfectly ripe, normal banana. Not I guess so. So here's me eating this crepe thing. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to eat. Mm. So my wife was right. The sprinkles really kind of a little disturbing because it's crunchy and the, and the flavor is overwhelmingly banana, but the chocolate and the banana go pretty well together with the frosting. Well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you missed any of it, check out the video on demand, or if you're catching this on YouTube, just play it from the beginning. I don't know why you didn't. In any case, if you're checking this out from YouTube. But uh, this was Grace, Gracie, Copen, Cooking, whatever the heck it was. Cooking, yep, cooking. that I got for my birthday for, for my daughter. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.